So over here, you can see that I'm in my layout section right over here. And this is the workspace I have. I have like laid the, let's say the toolbar over here and I got the application bar right over here. And one, one of the good thing about Adobe in copy is that uh, you can place anything anywhere. And uh, since it's a part of Adobe uh, application, it, it works like any other uh, Adobe application if you're used to it. Let's say, for example, if I want to move this around over here, I can move that around and bring that up as you can see right over here. I can click on this arrow to expand this out or contract this as you can see, or I can close this all together. If I want to bring it back, I can go over here and then bring back that. So I do, um, so I, I just close out tools. So if I were to click tools, you can see that I brought it back. I can go around and bring out the untitled anywhere I want. I can also bring this out anywhere I want. And you can see that I can just rearrange this out altogether. I can keep it onto the side maybe right over here, just like that and leave that out just like that. I can go around here, keep it here, anywhere I like. If I want to reset out everything else that is in Essentials right over here, I can click Reset Essentials and then all will be reset as you can see and it went back to where it began. There are other workspaces as well, such as Advanced as you can see, there's Writing as well, uh, which uh, has pre-arranged um, pre workspaces. So if I were to go on to Essentials right here, you can see that this is the simple one. If I were to go on to window, let's say, for example, I bring in notes, I can grab this anywhere I want. I can just click on notes right over here and I can push it on, on, on to the right. You can see that notes panel is here. I can minimize this and go on to the button mode right over here where I can expand this right over here, just like that. I can go over here and bring in, let's say, for example, swatches. Let me just grab that in over here, just like that. And there's swatches. I can also leave it onto the side, uh, just like that, as you can see or I can leave it out in the same place so it actually works around like this. So if I were to go on to writing right here, uh, I go to the other uh, workspace. Advanced, I go to the other workspace, but in Essentials, I still have those notes and swatches. It didn't reset, but it actually saved this as an override state. So if I were to press Reset Essentials now, it'll go back to normal just like that. Similarly, I can also create my own workspace. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go around and select out, let's say, for example, notes, keep it onto the side right over here, just like this. And then I can go over here onto window. I'm going to bring in layers, maybe drag this on besides the notes. And you can see that I can switch this out right over here, just like that. I'm going to go to window. Let's say I want to bring in Tajaris. Let me just keep it on over here on the bottom and you can see that this is how it can be stacked up as well. I can go into sources, bring it up over here and this is stacked on. So let's say I want this layout to be saved as my own layout, uh, save layout. So in order to do that, I can go up over here and then you can see that there's new workspace as an option. You can also optionally go to windows on to workspace and then choose the same settings from here as well. So I'm going to click on new workspace and I'm going to say tutor tube and here it says capture panel location and menu customization. I want both of them. So I'm going to press OK. So now what happens is that I got another layout option as you can see. So I got writing over here. I got essentials over here. I got essentials, reset essentials. It get, gets back. But on my tutor tube, I have this. So let's say, for example, I add in one more workspace right over here. So let's say, for example, I add in style, like cell style right over here, right on over here, just like that. So now if I were to reset essentials, what happens is that reset essentials for due to tube cell style actually goes out because it's an overridden uh, style, um, overridden object. So if I want to save this in due to tube, I have to go over here and click on new workspace and then choose tutor tube right over here so that I can replace it out. So now if I were to reset tutor tube, you can see that it has been saved as the layout space itself, just like that. And that is how you can work around with the workspaces inside of Adobe InCopy. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.